Hi, I thought I'd answer an EEV blog forum question because it's kind of a little bit technical and involves the 121 GW multimeter. Uh, the post is from a member called uh, IZOD, I-X-O-D, something like that. So thank you very much uh, for your question. Asks, why doesn't the 121 GW multimeter use a 9 volt battery? Why does it use uh, four AA batteries in it. Uh, wouldn't nine volt be uh, nicer or even maybe uh, two nine volt uh, batteries in series because this actually has a, uh, yep, a 15 volt uh, diode mode. And it's an interesting question. So I thought I'd just take a quick look at it. Now, uh, the what it comes down to is basically battery life of the meter. Yes, I could actually power this from a 9 volt battery. If I absolutely wanted to make it as tiny as possible, a 9 volt battery or maybe four AAAs, uh, for example, might be an option. In fact, the original design of this meter um, used four AAAs. And I, you know, I was thinking about it, hey, looking at how much current it was going to take, it was going to have Bluetooth and other stuff, and, you know, like true RMS converter, and I thought, hey, you know, battery life is important. I personally value a long battery life in a meter. So I said, hey, can we actually fit in AA batteries into this thing? And they came back and they said, yep, if we make it about, I can't remember, what it was four or five millimeters thicker or something, we can squeeze in four AA's instead of four AAA's. So I went, beauty will sacrifice the thickness and it is a fairly thick uh, meter especially when you put it in the holster but I think the extra battery life is uh, worth it now let's take a look why can't why wouldn't we use a 9 volt battery well the 121 GW meter consumes about 5 milliamps or so um, just in normal operation that's not data log into the uh, micro SD card or anything built in and that is effectively constant current load because there's voltage regulators and I've done this in a video somewhere but I'll do a simple diagram here it is right if you've got oy, right if you've got your battery here and you've got your voltage regulator here that's giving out in this case I've actually got um, three voltage regulators inside this thing one is four volts one's three point six volts and one is 3.3 volts for the internal arm processor in this thing anyway three of them it doesn't matter whether you have three or just one like this okay the regulator in here uh, there's like the adjust pin the set pin or whatever it is there's basically zero current flowing down there okay there's basically zero current so all the current that flows and and you've got a fixed voltage on the load and the loads doing the same thing all the time even though it's a complex load like a processor it's doing the same thing all the time so a fixed voltage of say in this case like 4 volts for example uh, or 3.3 or whatever it is um, the load is fixed so fixed voltage gives you a fixed current in this case it's actually about around about 5 milliamps for normal operation so that 5 milliamps if there's no current down there then you must have five milliamps coming from your battery so it's effectively by the nature of linear when you power your device from a linear regulator like this it's essentially a constant current load so five milliamps constant current from the battery now if we take a look at a nine volt uh the best one you can get like duracell ultra power without going to lithium or whatever but the best alkaline one um let's have a look they actually have a graph here of shame they don't actually show you this is constant current load okay shame they don't actually show you uh, a phi curve for five milliamps but it's going to be in there somewhere and it's probably not going to be uh, well, I'm not going to say it's not going to be halfway, but it's going to maybe at a guess. You'd, you'd have to measure it. It might be 150 hours. Now you'd have, uh, in fact, in the case of a 9 volt battery, I could hook a 9 volt battery onto this and it would work. And you would actually get, because our the lowest voltage, the highest voltage regulator in this is 4 volts. It's an LDO, so it drops out at like 4.1 volts or something. We could actually use, go down right to 5 volts and use the entire capacity of the battery, 100% capacity of the battery, which would be nice. And we might get maybe 150 hours use out of it, but 150 hours on a modern multimeter is not really good enough. So, and that doesn't matter whether you use, do, and that's the Ultra. There's actually really very little difference between the Ultra and just the regular copper top. In fact, if you have a look, the, yeah, here's their, here's their curve over here. It's exactly, exactly the same. There we go, two milliamps and 10 milliamps 
they actually have uh yeah it's around about it's going to be the same it's it, they're practically identical uh graphs on there so it might be say 150 hours service life now the original triple a's it wasn't too bad so if we have a look at a regular copper top uh triple a let's have a look once again they have 1 milliamp and 10 milliamp unfortunately so it's going to be somewhere in between there it's not going like you might think oh okay it's going to be like five six hundred hours or something like that and eh, sorry because the dropout voltage is going to be like i think it's 1.05 volts or thereabouts um so we're like you know we're in this region here and if the curve is something like that let's say it goes to 600 hours and the dropout curves here you're gonna we might get maybe 350 300 to 350 would be my guess um i don't know i haven't actually tried it at five milliamps you'd have to measure it but which is okay there's nothing wrong with that but i was i wanted and a lot of people asked for by the way during the development of this thing can it use double a's i'm sick of these triple a rubbish i want you know i use double a's for everything else and i thought yeah I want a long battery life in this thing, so I'm going to use double A's. So let's have a look at double A's, and let's have a look, and surprise, surprise, they actually give us a 5 milliamp constant current graph. Sometimes you win. Look at this. And no, you do not get 700 hours, because as I said, 1.05 volts cut out or thereabouts, and we got, uh, like, it should get around about 580 hours or thereabouts. Now, we just did some long-term testing of these, and it went for a couple of weeks. We actually had two meters. One was logging SD uh, data due to a software glitch. It kept stopping logging, which they've fixed now, apparently. But anyway, during our testing, so we didn't get proper testing of the SD card. But the one that just sat on the volts mode for two, two weeks or whatever, we actually got... 600 hours and we used uh these duracell ultra power uh batteries so it was like it was basically bang on to what we expect of course it would be right and it's going to match this characteristic curve so we basically got 600 hours so that's a nominal battery life on a good quality alkaline cell for this so i think it was worth it so we could have um powered it from a nine volt battery it would have changed the physical design because the nine volts is actually quite thick when you try and include it so you'd have to design your your pcb uh, well sorry i forgot to even show you um geez we've got a mix in there at the moment um it mixes some dead ones that we had and we only had two spares so we threw in those just to get it working again um the two new ones um so yeah you can have the nine volts but if you whack it in the middle the thickness is um you know i i think a nine volts is actually thicker than a double a is it not there you go we can have a look at the yes it is what is it you know let's say 16 and a half millimeters there 16 and a half millimeters Look at the double A, there you go, 14, 14 millimetres. So it's a couple of millimetres thicker for the 9 volt. So if you powered it from 9 volts, the metre would be as thick or thicker than using double A's. Now, of course, if you smartly design it with sort of maybe some recessed PCB cutouts, but the PCB in this is chock a block. So, you know, it really, 9 volts wouldn't have made this thing any smaller, really. They did really well designing this um, to get the four double A's plus the two uh, HRC fuses plus the SD card and everything else in there. So, there you go. Um, that wouldn't have saved it. Triple A's would have made it a bit thinner, but as I said, you have, you're basically going to halve the battery life. And then when you're talking about logging the SD card, I, with our SD card uh, testing, we got, I think it was 350, 400 hours or something like that, but that wasn't continuous. You had to keep restarting the damn thing all the time. But anyway, it just comes down to battery life. So yes, we could have powered it from a 9-volt battery, but uh, like size-wise, it didn't, it didn't really help. Um, and really get pretty piss poor battery life because remember inside a nine volt battery they've effectively got four four a batteries inside open one i've done a video on that open up a nine volt battery i have to link it in open it up there's actually six four a batteries they're called um not triple a not double a not triple a but four a battery size um, you can actually buy those individually but they're quite hard to get um and there's six of those inside there so Anyway, and it wouldn't have helped with the, um, also wouldn't have helped with the 15 volt diode mode. We still, there's a DC to DC converter in here. We still would have needed that 
because even though it might start out at 18 volts if you had two of them in series, it'd very quickly under load uh, drop to less than 15 volts and then you'd have to have a boost converter anyway. So, you know, you might as well get the best um, battery life you can with the size, you know, two 9 volts is probably not too dissimilar and as I said, thicker. It's probably uh, similar in area, maybe slightly smaller than the 4 AA's, but it's thicker. So really no volumetric advantage, um, but you sacrifice due to the 4A cell nature in there. Um, it, it just isn't as good. You can't store as much energy in the battery. The, like the chemistry just is like, it's a, just a smaller volumetric size to fit the energy in there. So it, yeah, we could have used 9 volt, but it would have got piss poor battery life. So that's why... We didn't know it. Um, there you go. And we would have had to use DC to DC converter anyway to get the 15 volt diode mode. So there you go. I hope that answered that question and you found it interesting. If you did, thumbs it up. Even though it's a second channel video, it all counts. Catch you next time. Oh, by the way, yes. Um, this will be available very shortly, but only to patron supporters. Anyway. Um, and forum supporters at least the initial batch but yeah it will be coming for public sale not too distant future see ya